Hi, my name is Madeline Mullen. The piece of artwork I've chosen to show is The Good Shepherd by Thomas Cole, located at the Crystal Bridges Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas. Thomas Cole was an extremely influential landscape painter in the mid-19th century. He immigrated to the United States from England in 1818 as a teenager, and by 1823, Cole moved to New York to begin his artistic career. His many trips to the Hudson River Valley inspired much of his work from then on, and Cole established himself as a well-known landscape painter. He was the first to paint American landscapes in their romantic European style, and that made him the founding artist of the Hudson River School movement in New York. Cole's paintings primarily served to highlight the beauty of the American landscape, and often they were seen as warnings against the destructive effects of industrial civilization. His artwork also portrayed religious themes, expressing his view of God as the creator of the earth. In The Good Shepherd, Cole expresses his religious views by portraying Christ as the Good Shepherd, just as he is referred to in the Bible. His stunning landscape points to God's creation, and Jesus is directly represented by the shepherd. The Good Shepherd depicts an image of a mountainous landscape, serene pond, and bright sky through which a shepherd and single sheep walk. The piece is sharply divided along the horizontal plane as the sharp edges of the mountain peaks contrast with the soft light glow of the clouds and sky. Rising peaks on either side give the piece composition and balance. The close, dark rock formation on one side balances the sharp, distant mountain peak on the other. This piece clearly utilizes atmospheric perspective. As the, as the landscape gets more distant, the lines become more soft and blurred than the sharper edges that characterize the landscape closest to the viewer. The shepherd and sheep in the midground of the painting are depicted as active figures walking along the banks of the pond. The rest of the painting is stationary, so the movement of the figures contrasts against the nature scene portrayed around them. This piece can most clearly be analyzed according to the iconography method. The biblical text that this piece is based on is Psalm 23. In this passage, the author relates Christ to a good shepherd, leading a sheep along green pastures and still waters. This is clearly depicted in Cole's piece as a shepherd is seen in the midground guiding his sheep along a lush green landscape directly along the banks of a small pond. Psalm 23 portrays Christ as a provider, a good shepherd who guides and protects his sheep. This is clearly shown in Cole's piece as the shepherd in the painting has his hand out in front of him leading the sheep in the way it should go. This piece not only portrays the psalm literally, but it also expresses the calm, comforting tone of the psalm. The quiet landscape and soft glowing sky give the sense of comfort and peace that Psalm 23 also provides the audience. The picturesque landscape also serves to remind the viewer of God's provision in creating the earth, and this yet again shows the viewer the goodness of Christ. Overall, Cole's piece belongs to the Romanticism movement. Romantic paintings are characterized by their emphasis on idealized nature scenes and human connection to nature. This can be seen in The Good Shepherd as the landscape is very much idealized and portrays a very calm, serene mood. It also shows human connection to nature in that it portrays Psalm 23, which uses nature scenes to invoke specific emotions and highlight Christ's role as a protector. Cole was the first artist to bring Romanticism-style nature paintings to America from Europe. This made him the founder of the Hudson River School, which was an artistic movement in New York that focused on painting the untouched American landscape. Cole's style became a model for many artists that came after him, such as Albert Bierstadt, who became known for painting the westward expansion of America. His landscape paintings were very much influenced by Cole's, but instead of focusing solely on the Hudson River Valley, Bierstadt focused on the western portions of American landscape that had never been depicted before, such as the Rocky Mountains. Even then, Cole's influence on the stylization of the landscape paintings and the message behind them are evident in Bierstadt's work. Cole's work was also majorly influenced by the classical and Renaissance movements in Europe. This can be seen primarily in his religious subject matter, but also in his portrayal of nature and certain elements such as his use of atmospheric perspective. Cole's work was also influenced by naturalism, and one of the main European artists who influenced him was J.M.W. Turner. Turner was known for his landscape paintings that very accurately portrayed natural light. This influence can be seen in A Good Shepherd with its glowing pink sky and light highlighting certain portions of the landscape. I chose to analyze this piece because I was drawn to the calm, peaceful tone that it depicted. The nature scene is very beautiful with lush green hills, tall mountains framing the valley, and a burst of pink light in the sky. I found the scene to be very calming and a reminder of how big creation is and how small we as humans are in comparison. I was also drawn to the subject matter of Psalm 23. As many times as I have heard the psalm read, seeing Cole's rendering made it so much easier to grasp the meaning behind it, that the goodness of God is made evident to those who trust him. In my opinion, the ideas presented in Cole's piece are what make it so impactful. Finally, here's a list of the references used in this presentation.